Now, the Deputy Minister of Education, Dr. Yawase Duchum, says the 400 schools designated by the government to start the double track system will be reduced by next year. Speaking in a media interaction at the 30, 33rd Annual Residential Congress of the Greater Accra Regional Student Representative Council, Dr. Duchum said the GET Fund is implementing a strategy to complete all the educational facilities at 70 percent, uh, which will go a long way to reduce pressure that will be felt. Uh, at the selective schools. 400 out of the 696 uh, schools are operating on the double track. And now we have also uh, Get Fund is using a different strategy to do school construction. That is, they are doing partial securitization, which is uh, they have projected how much revenue they will be receiving about 10 to 15 years, and they are borrowing against half of it to complete all buildings that are at a 70% completion level. So if we're able to do that, then more space will be available in a number of senior high schools, and with that, we'll be able to reduce the number of schools that will be on double track next year. So we are very hopeful. I don't know if Nagra has say anything about cut-off. Various people are saying anything about cut-off. Uh, we are not going to cut the poor off. Because when you do cut-off, the ones that we tell cannot get access to our public schools are predominantly the disadvantaged. How can we live in a country where the rich kid, uh, the well-to-do kid, the educated, uh, kids of educated parents get tutors at home, they end up passing the, uh, the BECs at very high level, I get six, I get seven, I get eight. The poor, unfortunately, are in our public schools and they are not doing well. And then when they take the exams, then you tell them that because you got I get 36, you cannot go. Yeah, yeah. We cannot create that kind of a nation. And that is why the government is saying everybody is getting in. But when you get there, it's not going to be sink or swim. We are also giving money to the schools to help tutor you, to help support you, so that you don't go there to fail. So this is a win-win. The poor too deserve an opportunity. They are, I mean, when I, I drive on the streets and see women who are selling on the streets and they are struggling, you see, sometimes if you are not careful, a car can even hit them. These women, if they have children, you want to tell me that because their children do not do it, their children should stay at home? And that the children of people like us in Thai should go to senior high schools, there should be a level playing field, and the presidents want a level playing field, and there will be no cutoff. Dr. Yawase Duchum there. Now the University of Education, Winneba, says upon a careful study, the free SHS and the double truck system rolled out by government represents the boldest education initiatives in the country's educational history. Acting Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Reverend Professor Anthony Afobroni, says that policy has great potentials in proving, in providing a strong cornerstone for development. He also indicated that the university has commissioned a research to track the SHS preparation and admission intake for Ifutuman kids over the next five years. University of Education, Winneba. The university that is responsible for the training of the educational manpower needs of the country says the free SHS and the double track policy are tried and tested and should be embraced by all. According to the acting vice chancellor of the university, Reverend Professor Anthony Afobroni, the free SHS is one of the boldest initiatives to hit the country. We must emphasize that the free senior high school is one of the boldest and best educational policy initiatives that our nation has seen ever because yes it is because this policy has great potential in providing a strong cornerstone for development we must all lend our unflinching support and our commitment to the government to ensure its huge success after all the immediate beneficiaries of the policy are our own children, and the long-term beneficiary is the unquestionable progress of the entire nation, Ghana. We in this university are committed to the cause of the free senior high school and also to the expanding initiative of the double-track system to absorb the overwhelming number of qualified candidates who otherwise would have been left behind or would have truncated their pursuit of high school education just because of unavailability of space. 
the acting vice chancellor commend the government for introducing the double track system according to him the double track system is an internationally acclaimed system that breeds quality and ensures equity and government couldn't have chosen any better system in the exigencies of the time of course then came the challenge of ensuring that everyone had access to senior high school and none was left behind we at this university are happy that the government has again come up with another initiative, the senior high school double track system to salvage the situation. The double track system is acknowledged internationally as useful educational policy that ensures an equitable distribution of access to high school and tertiary education to everyone. Those of us in academia are all aware of several studies which indicate that the double track or multi track system of education, such as the one being rolled out by the government, leads to improvement in learning and academic achievement because of relatively fewer classes and improved teacher student ratio. Reverend Professor Anthony Afubuni further announced plans by the university to absorb the first batch of the free SHS system. Designs have been completed and contracts are about to be awarded for the construction of eight pavilions, each with 550 seat capacity. And so as if what you see on campus is not enough, these are things that are going to be seen within the next few weeks. And I mean only the next few weeks. Eight more pavilions, each will seat 550 people. All of this is in anticipation of the arrival of the first batch of the free senior high school students. The paramount chief of the Futu traditional area, Nenyi Gate the Seventh, described the university's move to partner the Futu traditional area as one of the remarkable moments in the history of the people of Futu in recent times. Richard Kwejenyakon, Joy News, Cape Coast.